Hey Tigers, I'm Janaya with info on the Senior Picnic. And I'm Allison with all the news on scholarships and the library. And I'm Kaya, bringing you sports and the news and announcements that you need to know. To start us off, here's some info about the Latin physics class collab from Brandon Stokes. Ancient Roman weapons, such as the trebuchet and ballista, were marvels of ancient engineering. But have you ever sat down and thought about the physics that go behind these weapons? Well, probably not, but recently our Latin and physics classes did. They have teamed up together to both explore the physics and the building of these ancient weapons. But how did they do it? Well, here's Mr. Tim to explain a little bit more. Okay, so our project was a collaboration between Latin and physics, and the topic was siege weapons. So the Latin students presented the history uh, and origin of the siege weapons to the physics students, and uh, talked about their usage in some famous battles, where the siege weapons came from. And then the physics students presented the Latin students with some of the forces at work uh, in these siege weapons. And then that was day one. And then day two we got together and we mixed up the Latin students and the physics students into teams and we uh, uh, had a little contest to build the best tabletop siege weapon. Both classes put a lot of energy into these projects with their research, presentations, and the building of the weapons, giving it 110%. And it's safe to say the outcome was pretty impressive. If any of you guys watching are interested in fun projects and interesting topics, then you should consider taking either Latin or physics. See, the Senior Recognition Assembly is tomorrow. Seniors, make sure to meet at the wrestling room. Everyone else will sit at the bleachers and we'll be hosting 8th grade visitors. Be there. Here's an announcement from your ASB commissioners about spike ball. So make sure to get those signups in the next couple days. It's going to be teams of two, and it's going to be our last intramural of the year. So make sure to sign up. Sign up! Sign up! <laughs> if, you were, if you were awarded a scholarship, come to the library tomorrow during fourth and fifth period. Check your emails for your time and make sure to be prompt. It's seniors only, and you'll, be, you, and you'll learn more about how to get your scholarship money. Seniors, remember that your senior contract may be submitted to the main office at Ms. Maxwell's desk. Your permission slip for the senior picnic may be submitted there as well. No one can drive their own vehicle to senior picnic even if you are 18 years old or graduated early. This information has also been posted in your Google Classroom for the class of 2024. Now to Kaya with sports. <laughs> We're on the slow crawl to the end of the year, so there's a lot less sports to report on. Boys Golf will be going for our regionals on Wednesday. For next year, we have a girls soccer meeting on Thursday, May 23rd, during lunch in Ms. Burzel's room 901. Come meet with the coaches, hear about plans for the summer and for next year. Now back to Jeanette and Allison with lunch and news history. For lunch today, we will be having chicken and drumstick, smashed potatoes, a wow butter, butter, and a house jam sandwich, chana masala and curry potatoes, and an Italian sub. And on this day in U.S. history, May 20th, 1996, in a victory for the gay and lesbian civil rights movement, the U.S. Supreme Court wrote 6-3 to three to strike down an amendment to Colorado. Colorado's state constitution that would have prevented any city, town, or country in the state from taking any legal action to protect the rights of gays and lesbians. Although the ruling, authored by a Republican, was cautious in, in its language, it was applauded as a major civil rights victory. That gave gay and lesbian activists their first major, major constitutional precedence for fighting anti-gay legislation. That's all for today, Tigers. See you tomorrow. <laughs>